Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of like what the leaks are and such for Call of Duty. I don't typically look at leaks. Like I don't look at even sometimes trailers for movies. However, I am going out of my way to actually look for them this time. I am so excited for this game. I remember when Black Ops 2 leaks were going out and like Advanced Warfare and Ghosts and all these things. I stayed away from them entirely. I really just like staying as spoiler free as I can. Because of that, I don't see a lot of, I like if I hear leaks are going out, I just outright won't watch a youtube video because it has leaks in it however this call of duty i'm actually going my way to look for leaks and part of the reason being i really want call of duty to go back to a little more arcadey style and from what i've seen and heard this seems to be the call of duty to do it call of duty has been in development for four years and this call of duty has just stayed true to the nature of the game and when i mean the nature of the game i mean we're not going to go for this ultra realistic type of form it's getting it's keeping its arcade elements while also having some realistic elements as well from recent call of duties which i think is going to blend really well together. About three hours ago, Charlie Intel released the official intro cinematic for Terminus. It's going to be one of the round-based zombies maps, so we're going to take a look at that, as well as some other pieces like omnidirectional movement, and there's a part, there's a portion of gameplay where it's, it's 30 minutes of gameplay, and I'm not going to show that because there is some language that the person recording is using in a text chat on screen that others might find offensive. It doesn't personally bother me. However, I don't want anyone watching this to feel like they, they can't enjoy themselves and stuff like that. So if you guys want any more information, on it, make sure you head over to twitter.com or x.com as it's called now and just go to charlie intel they have anything and everything pretty much call of duty that you need it so without further ado i just say let's fucking start all right so we're gonna go ahead and take this look this is the gameplay for the brand new terminus round based zombies map so let's go ahead and take a look at this hopefully like an activision doesn't come bite my ass over this so I'm already seen off the rip. It looks like an Alcatraz, like Mob of the Dead type of map, which I'm really liking. Good form. Richtofen. Reference back to the original group. Oh, he's in control of that. Oh. Oh. Okay, she did not hesitate. Clean. Oh, he knows. Who is this person? Who the hell are you? Yeah, literally. <laughs> this is Maya. Oh, <gasps> she's with me. Frank Woods. Breaking you out was my plan, so you're welcome. Heck, you sick son of a bitch! You're supposed to be dead. Relax, Major Carver. All of us here have a common enemy: the guy who locked you up. The guy who. Stole my wife's work. Edward Richtofen. Wait, that's not... Is that Frank Woods? That's not. Kill him. It sounds like him. Let's get out of here. That wasn't a fucking deal. We're not going anywhere till we find my brother. Look. It'll take me some time to get their helix split up. And we do kind of owe Okay, Raptor One, go look at the landing pad. Peck, Strauss, all up at the guard station. I want Richtofen's coordinates. Go to the store power, and then locate this woman's brother. How do you know who you're looking for, though? You're looking for someone that looks like her, I guess? Gameplay trailer August 8th. Yeah, well, I'll definitely... What is that, like, 
tomorrow? Two days? That's in two days. That's this Thursday. So we're gonna be seeing gameplay of zombies for the first time in two days on August 8th. I will be reacting to that. I'll probably have to watch it after I get back from work because it's probably gonna go live at like 1 p.m. EST. God fucking forbid. So also you guys keep seeing my full cam because NVIDIA is a fucking terrible company sometimes. It doesn't let me record my desktop for some fucking reason. So you guys are staring at my face as I switch between the videos. But that was the first look at zombies. I think it looked really good. I think it adds a lot of... I swear that's Frank Woods. I, that seems like Frank Woods to me, but I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. Very much looking forward to it. However, I really hope with this loadout shit that's coming out, we do not, like, get a scuffed version of zombies. We just get an OG, we start off with a pistol, we have the option at least to start off with just a basic pistol and we can just go. If we want to do a lot of stuff, we can do it. I see a tweet right here as well. It literally says, Zombies is back and Rick Toffin is the villain. Holy yes. Yes, yes, yes. Rick Toffin being the villain is going to be such a nice change up. I'm really curious to know how this fucking goes. They've captured it as motion sickness inducing Black Ops 6 Omni movement. So this is going to, this does look really fucking fast. Yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. Why are you, first of all, first of all, if you're playing the game like this, I wonder how good the Omni movement is. That dive backwards, dive, the fact that you can dive backwards is cool. Like, I could accomplish the same goal. I could accomplish the same goal just fucking looking slightly to my left and jumping. I don't know why I have to do all this movement, but unfortunately there wasn't really much I could fucking see. There is also a leaked video of the weapon inspect for the Black Ops 6 Vault Edition Sniper Masterclass. This has all come out in the last like maximum like three to four hours. So I pre-ordered the game. I pre-ordered the Vault Edition. So this, and also we can look actually at the HUD. It looks J very Cold War like. Look how clean it is. I love this. I genuinely, genuinely love the way this HUD looks right now. Inspect for the Mastercraft. Negative 269 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little tracers as well. A little explosion once the ground is like ice. My, okay, here's my thing. If we're gonna be getting a weapon with that looks this nice and it has a really long inspect, I hope it's not too long to where it's an inconvenience. And it's but it's just long enough to where you can appreciate it. Like there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was probably off a little bit, so we're gonna say anywhere between eight to ten seconds on that inspect. I hope that the basic inspects for the game are like four to five seconds at most, and then but the ones with the Mastercraft have little effects are a little longer. That is what I'm hoping with this. Again, the gun looks super nice. Definitely, definitely, definitely a big fan. Oh, and then we have another one. It looks like a shotgun. It looks it looks like a shotgun from the Vault Edition. Shout out the real shoe 1337. Oh, okay. It's got the eyes on it. It's kind of ooh. Okay, this is what the type of shit we'd see in like COD Mobile, where the inspects are insane and everything. Like that one, there's one gun in COD Mobile that has a movie playing on it. That is kind of fucking nuts. But yeah, th this is nice. The, like if I'm gonna see an inspect for a Mastercraft, this is what I want to see, 100%. Like I want to see this. I want to see some crazy shit. That was fucking nice. Like it's again a little arcadey, not super real. Yes. They cooked on that one. That's fucking... Mwah. Here we have pictures. I'm gonna see if I can... We have the pictures of the characters. We have Grigory Weaver, Mac... Mackenzie Mac Carver, Dr. Elizabeth Gray. This is the girl... I can't, my webcam is blocking, unfortunately. This is the girl that... Uh, I killed the guy at the desk. Her name is Maya. I can't pronounce her last name. Aguna Aguinaldo? I hope I said that right. I really do. And I didn't offend anyone with that. Stony, Raptor One, Maddox, Oscar Strauss, and William Peck. So I was wrong. It's not Frank Woods. It sounds a lot like him. So I apologize for anybody. I'm not super up to date on zombies lore. So I don't know how relevant that character is or if it's new or anything. But the fact we got Weaver, who is, I think, a Black Ops 1 character, is fucking nuts really shows they're going back to their 
their basics and they're really like going back to yeah they're preying on our history a little bit but at the same time they're also going back to what's right what's true i should say so here we also have pictures of the master mastercrafts in the menu i mean again clean menu super clean menu i really really can appreciate that like it tells me i have mag size of 45 and it just tells me how much ammo i have like it has my list of master crafts and it doesn't have all this text all over the screen i mean again I, I super clean super clean ui it's all i want and then we have the aims 85 with the jackal pdw so that previous variant was the plague doctor it looks like it comes with a grenade launcher uh maybe like a I'm gonna guess like a, hol a holographic sight. I'll presume that this has an extended mag considering most of our rifles have a 30 round drum. Um, if we're going accuracy and mobility, I feel like the stock and the grip probably have been changed. Um, then we have the Jackal PDW with the Scourge blueprint. This probably has some type of ammo or barrel in it to increase the firepower. I, I would assume this has a 30 round drum. Uh, no, it might actually have a 40. It might come with 40 considering I'm looking at this picture and we have it right here. Yeah, same, probably coming with a different grip, uh, probably a different stock. Yeah, right there. I'm trying, and then this Ford grip there is there obviously too. Um, but the dev they definitely changed the muzzle because the muzzle doesn't even fucking reach to the second thing. So all in all, it looks pretty promising. And then we have the LR 72.6. This is the Brainstorm variant. This is the one we saw the, the first inspect of. We still haven't seen the inspect for the PDW. I mean, whoo, this game just, I'm very excited. I'm very, very, very excited. I always get a little giddy when new Call of Duty's come out, but I haven't felt this way like, even when Modern Warfare 3 was coming out, I'm like, this looks promising. I thought the beta would be good. Modern Warfare 2, I was like, this is going to be a good game. I I'm, I think it's going to be solid. Modern Warfare 2019, I wasn't really feeling it. Cold War, I was actually really happy. I regret not playing that game more, actually. Vanguard, I didn't even fucking try. But this game, I'm... Ooh, I am. Oh, I am so excited. This, like, this actually just makes me so happy well we have some leaked gameplay as well this is six hours ago of gameplay showing just how quickly you can move with the omnidirectional movement i think this is going to be really big especially for new players because the new the new type of player is going to sit there and try all this omni movement whereas the older players are going to take some more time to get used to it, i think so again you have to excuse the twitter quality very quiet you can also apologies you can also hear this guy hitting his uh controller and such in the background Oh, you can just put in a phone to somebody you said and go on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure some of those. I'm curious to know <laughs> how powerful the Omni Movement would be. It obviously looks good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it does actually look very good. But, that being said, like, is it gonna be more effective for, like, a slower- I'm a slower player. I'm not a speed demon. I'm a- I'm a- I'm a much slower player. I think my gameplay evidently tells that. Oh, but with this type of movement, I wonder on. if this will, like, make slower players harder, <laughs> like, sure for myself. Am I going to struggle more because <laughs> players are going to be moving around so much? Or on. is it going to make the fast players actually more difficult because they'll be moving around so much, it gives the other player a bigger opportunity to shoot at them? Obviously, this guy's shooting against bots, so we can't really tell. But, yes, this... I like the way it looks. I also like that we're bringing back metals. I haven't touched on that, but we're bringing back the metal system, which is awesome, 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 awesome. I know this game is just providing me with so much stuff that I want to, like, that I'm looking forward to. And then we have two videos right here. This is the last stuff I just covered because there's so much. I could go, I could go through these threads for like hours on hours on hours. Just show this last bit and I'm going to probably just end it there and when more leaks come along I'll talk about them more. I was supposed to have a gameplay video talking about all this but had a lot of issues with editing that video so I had to scrap it. Here is it says it's an it says it's a deep dive into omni movement on how it works. This is like a minute and a half. So you can yeah like they said you can dive sideways, you can sprint sideways, you can slide sideways. Sliding <laughs> the sliding I forgot about sliding sideways. This will cause me like me personal problems. This will actually like, I struggle with players who are sprinting at me and then jump backwards. And I still struggle with that. Um, thankfully I don't play super competitively so it doesn't become too much of an issue, but the pro scene for this game is gonna have so many crazy moments with this movement. Like I, I can already imagine Shotzi sprinting away from somebody, dolphin diving, turning around and just laying someone. I can already imagine it. And then like he's running, he just slides sideways across your screen and guns you, yeah. I'm curious to know how strong aim assist is gonna be in this game considering we have uh, movement like this. Cause if aim assist is going to be really strong this type of movement will be really good for i think controller players and keyboard players or keyboard and mouse players like myself are going to suffer 
This also might be an opportunity for me to give a controller another try. I've discussed it several times that I want to keep trying controller, but my problem is when I aim, everything feels so heavy now, and I don't really like it. I really like being able to swiftly turn and being able to get a shot off. Do I miss having aim assist? Yeah, but it obviously it hasn't been like enough to have me actually seriously grind for controller. It has been like the only reason. And I guess, is this like a showing a little bit more of the Omni movement here, I suppose. Okay, so he's showing like, okay, when you crawl, crawl backwards into a spin type of thing. Oh no, I'm excited. I, I'm really sad you can't disable it. Meaning no matter what, every player is gonna have this on. It is going to fuck over some players for quite a while. I give this like three or four months before either players adjust or they make it optional to turn it on and off. Um, I really think that with everything that's going on with this one, I just, it, it's breathing so much life into the game. It concerns me. It's because it's it's a lot of old stuff, good amount of new stuff, and it's a it's a good amount of stuff we already know. This big mishmash. I I really hope. I really really hope we get to see it. My biggest my biggest thing I'm excited for is the prestige emblems. We're getting classic prestige back. I'm not gonna. I'm a big sucker for some good prestige emblems. It literally can de has deterred me from playing games more. So the only thing we have in regards to prestige is we know the prestige master symbol is at least that I know is a uh, Cerberus. So I think it's the only thing we know about being prestige. I don't know what the other symbols are. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking really looking forward to it. I am hoping the uh, Omni movement for the game doesn't actually deter people too much and they give it a chance. I also really hope that the game itself is just fun. I mean, at the end of the day, we're getting original maps, we're getting prestige back, we're getting new movement system, and it looks as if we're... Also, I just noticed this as well. I just noticed this as well, that we have a mastery tab right here. Right next to your stats for the weapon, there's a mastery tab. There's no longer sitting looking at the gun. Go to customize, go to camos, go to mastery, and it's right there. It's literally in the gunsmith, just swipe right. It's so... For, for camo grinders like myself, it's super easy to access and it's super, super nice. So it already looks like they're making some quality of life changes for people who want to grind for the mastery camo and people who want to just get masteries on the games in general. But thank you guys for checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys did enjoy looking at these, these images and this footage just like I did. I am not gonna lie. I'm really, like, I've said this a bunch of times. Really excited. The beta comes out, uh, fortunately, on the weekend. I am out of town at the end of August. Um, but I'm trying to see, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to see if I can get my trip canceled a day or two early so I can get back and get some footage for you guys because it ends, I think, on the 4th of September. I won't be back in town until, like, the first day I'll be back is the 3rd. So I'll have the 3rd third to get footage. I think it ends the fourth while I'm at work. I'm going to try and get back a day or two early so I can get some footage for you guys. And I'll just probably spend, I'll probably record like three, four, maybe five sessions and just upload those throughout the week. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. Let's make sure you know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you have subscribed, make sure you hit the little bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a video. Until next time, this is Dia, setting up a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video.